Like the germ, news of the E. coli outbreak spread quickly. We had a call from Queensland Health at about 3.30 yesterday afternoon to say that there had been an outbreak. It was worrying. Yeah, we didn't think about it and thought, yeah. no, we'll just have to make sure they wash their hands afterwards. At the Canungra show, hygiene precautions were ramped up immediately to protect crowds. Plenty of sanitizer before they go on the ponies, after they finish with the ponies, uh, miniature goats, they've all been covered. Three children and a 33-year-old woman have been infected after visiting the Eckers Animal Nursery. E. coli bacteria lives in the digestive tract of humans and animals. It spreads easily from person to person, causing nausea, vomiting, bloody diarrhoea and in severe cases, kidney failure. This can be a, you know, a significant and, uh, and, and deadly illness. Hand washing is the best way to safeguard yourself. ECHA organisers maintain they had very stringent hygiene processes in place. Even so, they're working with Queensland Health to see if there's anything more they can do. When every year they do audit what we do and they do suggest new things from time to time and we always implement that. Uh, so we will work with them on that. What nursery owners don't want is for families to be turned off petting animals like this one. At the end of the day, this is their livelihood. And in order to avoid something like E. coli, well, all it takes is a little common sense. If you're going to touch animals or, or anything, um, wash your hands afterwards. Sophie Walsh, Nine News.